some other additives, then let's quickly talk about them. Foaming agent, simply to make foams. If you are on the porous, highly porous, you create large pores, you add a foaming agent, typically surfactant. Okay. And then these are the foaming agents that I will give you one example. Water typically has what? Surface tension compared with many other liquid, organic solvent has high surface tension, which means it doesn't easily form, doesn't easily bubble. Okay, these two poor wetting and great tendency towards uh, forming milling. So you can change solvent. Okay, or add foaming agent, tall, tall oil. This would help. Anti-foaming agent to remove the bubble. Okay, and uh, offer low surface tension, certain surfactant, fluorocarbon, uh, dimethy silicone. Okay, I don't oh, normally actually I don't use these too often. Probably for industry production people use them, and for lubricant to reduce the friction or resistance to sliding in the dye. That's typically you add something for process such as extrusion or injection molding. Okay. Uh, oil, mineral oil, um, stir eric acid. We would add it for dry pressing to lubricate the dye so that we can release the pellet uh, easily. And some inorganic material. Solid lubricant could be moly dye sulfide. Moly dye sulfide, that's quite often used. This white high HPN can also be used as solid lubricant, or of course graphite flakes. Okay?